I've been going through my archives and I made some cooking videos for an old channel that I had back in 2008, 2009. I don't know what happened to that channel. I forgot the credentials to get into it years ago. I mean, I think the last time I ever had access to it was like 2011. So it's, it's long gone somewhere. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to cook vegetables without losing all those important vitamins and nutrients that we all need. The worst thing to do is to boil your vegetables because when you boil it, you're stealing all the vitamins and nutrients out of the vegetables and it's going into the water. And where do people usually dump their water? Down in the sink. So all your vitamins and nutrients are going down your sink. But to avoid all this, I have another way to cook your vegetables where you don't have to lose all the vitamins and nutrients. And besides that, all the flavor is going into the water. So you're dumping flavor and you're dumping the vitamins and nutrients down your drain. Unless you're gonna drink the stuff, but most people don't, it's down in the drain and it's being wasted. I have a way to prepare foods without losing all vitamins. And it's very easy to do, you can do it at home. All you have to do is steam your food. That's right, steam your vegetables. When you steam them, you're not gonna lose your vitamins and your nutrients, and you're also gonna retain the flavor and the color. I mean, when you put it in water and boil stuff, you're just diluting the flavor, you're diluting the vitamins, and then you're diluting the color. So if you're caring about presentation, you're caring about your flavor and your vitamins, then don't boil your food. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean about steaming, because what I have here today is a pot which is going to steam my food. I have a, I'll show you what I have inside. All right, well here's what it looks like inside. It's got the, the metal with the holes to allow the steam to go through. So the steam will go through and cook the vegetables. And then of course in the bottom is where you put the water. So I'm gonna just add a little bit more water in there just to make sure the water just about touches the bottom of that metal plate there where the holes are in. But we don't want the water to touch the vegetables, we want the water to be close enough so that you can get a lot of steam on your vegetables. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I have some string beans, which I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour, put them in here. And I also have potato, which what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the potato up and uh, put that in there too. So I'm gonna have some diced, Potato, you know, some cut up potatoes and the string beans. And this potato's already been washed, and of course, I've washed the uh, string beans off here. Make sure you wash your vegetables because, you know, they're going to be things on there you don't want, trust me. And the best way to go is organic. If you can find organically grown vegetables that have not been contaminated with chemicals, that's the way you should go. Or grow your own. But anyway, I have placed my string beans and my potatoes, which have all been washed off, into the steamer pot. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a stove and I'm going to start steaming. There's another thing you can use. If you don't have a steamer at home, there's another thing you can use. You can take a pot, okay, and you can go ahead and get a colander. A colander, which is a, it's a pot with holes in it, and you can put it inside the pot. And then you can cook your vegetables by putting them in the colander, allowing the steam to go in from the bottom of the water that's boiling in the pot. And then put a lid on it loosely to so allow some of the steam to escape out of there. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn it on and we're going to cook it for 10 minutes. And then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, it's been 10 minutes, so I'm going to shut it down. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, it's on my plate and start eating it. All right, there you go. Mm, look at those potatoes, they're just nice and soft. They just cut like butter. And the string beans, they have a little crisp to them, but yet they're nice and cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste them now. Well, it's time to start eating. Mmm. So good. I'm just gonna sit down and finish this. Another word of advice, if you're using water, use purified water. We'll see you next time when I show you how to prepare a great meal using avocados, and I'll discuss the health benefits involved with using avocados in your diet. Well, thanks for watching. That video was originally uploaded on one of my healthy cooking channels. 
that I started back in 2009, I believe. But that channel, I wasn't able to get into it since 2011, so it's been long forgotten. And I don't even know if it exists anymore. So I was going through my archives and that's what I found. And I have some other videos that just never made it on YouTube as well. So I'll be putting them on here every now and then, mix it in with the other videos that I share here on this channel. So you never know what you're gonna find. I'm gonna start doing more cooking videos and my plans are to open up an additional channel dedicated just for healthier eating and start uploading everything there and have my playlists go to there. So that's gonna be my plan in the future. But in the meantime, I will continue to upload healthy cooking videos on this channel mixed in with other kind of content that I usually do upload here. And I will continue to do live streams as I normally do because I want to be able to provide a variety of different kind of content. And I want to help people stay healthy as well because you only live once and life is short and you might as well make the best of it while you're here and stay as healthy as you can. So eating the healthy things is the best plan and that's what I do and that's what helps me feel strong helps me stay young I'm 50 years old but I don't feel it so the healthy foods that I eat the healthy shakes that I make I use organic foods a lot of things have changed over the years back in 2009 I didn't use as many organic foods as I do now so those are things I've changed over time and as far as milk goes, I I use grass-fed. I used to use regular milk back then, but now it's grass-fed in the last three or four years. That's how it's been. And uh, I've changed some things, became more strict about what I eat, but it's all for the improvement of my health. So as time goes by, I'm, I'm just introducing new foods into my diet and, and just experimenting with different kinds of foods to see what works best, what gives me the most energy, and right now I just have an abundance of energy. It's just like, I feel like I'm supercharged and you know, I just keep going and going and going. That's how it is. But I uh, thought I would uh, bring this to you here on this platform. And I know it gets a little confusing because you're seeing different kinds of content here. You're like, wait a minute, are we making car videos? Uh, are you you're making videos about family drama? Are you making videos about this? Uh, situation going on in the backyard with uh who knows what and and you're uploading haunted house videos and and all this stuff and talking about businesses and and money and all that stuff i'm like well this is a variety channel right here right so it's kind of like combination and everything but i i feel like i need to start sorting things out and categorizing everything so certain kinds of content will go here certain will go there and just keep it organized so that those of you who have interest in cooking, you know where to go. And of course, if you guys have interest in the paranormal and all that, all the crazy stuff, you know where to go with that. But I uh, figured I would just uh, bring that here to the channel. But anyway, take care and be safe, everyone.